Well, it's a, it's a great honor and pleasure for me to participate in this meeting in, in memory of Ennio de Giorgi. And I'd like, like, like to thank the organizers for the very kind invitation. Of course, already much has been said about Ennio, so I will be very brief. I'll talk just a bit about my personal contact with him. Uh, Ennio and I first met at a Chime meeting here in Pisa in 1950, September 1958. And uh, I had heard of him before, in, in particular when uh, Nash uh, worked out his proof of the related to Georgie Nash result on, on regularity variational problems of elliptic type. Professor De Benedetto spoke about that earlier. And so Nash worked out his proof, and then he discovered that a proof had been already published by a young Italian. And he was very upset, I must say, about this. And he came to me, and he said, asked me if I'd ever heard of De Giorgi, and at that time I had not. In fact, uh, I had suggested the problem to Nash, and I think that Guido Stampacchi had suggested the problem to to Ennio. And um, so in 58, when I met Ennio, I already knew about that work, that beautiful paper. And uh, I was very happy to meet him. And uh, we, we talked, and we became friends. And the friendship lasted all the years, up to 20 years ago, when he died. And it was... Uh, uh, it was just lovely to know him. And uh, the, we, we never talked much. We, uh, over the years, I would see him. We would, uh, we would e always eat at the mensa together. And at some point, I stayed at the Collegio Timpano. And for some years, he stayed there. And so we would meet there uh, occasionally. But we, we met regularly for lunch and sometimes for dinner. And we would sometimes take walks together and talk. And we talked about all kinds of things. But, um, you know, uh, something a bit, a bit uh, odd. Uh, I, first of all, I, I never worked with Ennio. But what's even more surprising, we never discussed mathematics. And, uh, for, for example, with Guido Stampacchia, I t we discussed mathematics all the time. But somehow with Ennio, we never talked mathematics. And maybe one reason was I, I was told that very often people would come to Ennio with a question. They're trying to prove something. They, they needed something. They would come to him with a question. He would react to that. And then he and the person would begin working together, and eventually they would publish a joint paper. But I never came to him with, with a question. And uh, maybe the reason is because I was a little bit in awe of him. You know, I admired him enormously. Uh, I must say, not only for his mathematics, also for his uh, generous personality, I don't have to tell you about that. You, you, people from here know him better than I. Uh, he, uh, and also his, his uh, in taking part in many things like Amnesty International, and he was very interested in human rights. And I, was, I really admired him enormously for that. Uh, once he came to, as far as I remember, he came to, to the U.S. once, and at that time he visited the Courant Institute and gave a talk. But after 30 minutes, he stopped. So this was a bit of a surprise to everybody, but it was just a 30-minute talk. And uh, he was, as you know, extremely modest person, and there was something saint-like about him. And uh, the, I somehow, over the years, I always associated the Scuola Normale mainly with him 
and with Guido Stamparchia. And I have to say, his, uh, you know, his work, I don't have to tell you, but his, I think often about him and his work has, and his personality have had enormous influence on mathematics throughout the world. And uh, to this day, we miss him all. And that's all I have to say. <laughs>